All right, guys, today I am reviewing the SoundCloud, where is it? There it is, the Carpo L2. Uh, it is a subwoofer and uh, line array, uh, similar to like what the Bose uh, puts out. You see a lot of acoustic musicians using them in coffee shops and places like that. Big difference, this one's a little over $300, uh, and the one from Bose is like, I don't know, $1,200, something like that, so huge price difference. This is not a comparison video. This is simply uh, evaluating it all in its own merits, uh, to see if it's any good, see if it would work, and uh, maybe get people into uh, this type of system for without spending quite so much money. Okay, so real quick, we'll review the setup that I'm using for uh, uh, input. I've got a mic. Uh, my mic goes uh, actually into uh, the TC Helicon Acoustic. I've got my acoustic guitar here, and that's going through a pedal board, which is also going into the TC Helicon Acoustic. And then I have two out. I could have one out if I wanted to from here, but I choose two. Um, and they're going into the back of the SoundCloud. And you can see that I've actually got the levels turned all the way up on everything. Uh, and I've got the DSP set to live. Uh, it also has a Bluetooth feature. I'll, I'll be checking that one out later and playing some music through Bluetooth as well. And supposedly you can use the Bluetooth to pair this with a second um, uh, uh, Carpo L2 if you wanted to have you know even more sound or even more dispersion. All right, so the reason I'm showing you this is, you know, what does my input look like going into it? You can see I'm not clipping on my input. Uh, you know, I'm trying to push close to uh, the zero if I can uh, for my decibels, but I don't want to obviously clip on my input because that would, you know, uh, distort before it even made it to the Carpo. So I'm right about where I want it to be. Uh, it could be a little bit louder going in, but that's the waveform and uh, gives you an idea of what I'm, uh, what I'm inputting into it. Okay, so what you're looking at, if you look behind me, it's also on the screen to my left. Uh, what you're looking at is essentially uh, the decibel readings. You're not hearing the audio, but that's, that sound clip I recorded is playing. It's on, on repeat, and you're seeing this is from uh, roughly 12 feet away. And remember, I don't have the loudest signal going into it. I'm not peaking on my signal going in. I could probably boost that by quite a bit. Um, but you can see uh, 90 decibels is loud. Okay, now, now this is uh, the same thing, but I've, I'm about 24 feet away. Um, and you'll see it's gonna go down a little bit. Uh, I go from 24 feet away uh, to end up around 35 feet away, 40 feet away, which is, which is pretty far. And even at 40 feet away, I'm not putting in the biggest uh, input volume, it's completely cranked. I'm hitting big decibel levels. And when I say big, it would be uncomfortable to have a conversation with the person right next to you. You would, if you were in a bar or a winery or a, or a brewery, you would look at the musician and be like, man, I wish he would turn this down so that I could have a conversation with the person that I'm seeing. So, so it's definitely loud. All right, connecting to Bluetooth is super simple. It simply showed up. I didn't have to do anything. Click connect, went into Spotify and boom, started playing. Turned it up to a uh, max volume or pretty high volume. And uh, you know, no clipping. I couldn't make a clip, so uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool. And you can see it. There's no clipping. Okay, so uh, at this point I'm essentially uh, playing uh, my iPad as loud as I can through it. You can see the decibels are, are much higher uh, than when I was playing the guitar. Um, and just, you know, for your, your education, anything between 80 and 110 decibels, uh, prolonged exposure will cause uh, hearing damage. Anything over 110 can cause immediate hearing damage. So, you know, we're, we're hitting some big decibel levels here. So there's some questions, you know, can this thing put out sound? And the answer is, Absolutely, this thing is putting out some serious sound. Um, I do have it turned up completely, so uh, and I'm not clipping. So um, 
I'm doing it from uh, you know 12 feet away, 24 feet away, and then roughly between 35 and 40 feet away. And you can see the decibels are, are plenty loud, uh, not comfortable to have a conversation. And so the one thing we haven't checked, so I've been playing everything on live. So even when I was just playing the Chili Peppers just now, uh, that was on live. So we're going to do a little test uh, uh, recording what live sounds like versus what uh, speech versus what music sounds like. Okay, so final thoughts. I like the way it sounds. Um, it's plenty loud for what I want to do. This is a big room and it easily fills it. Uh, you know, I play some bars and wineries that are bigger than this, uh, but you know, most people don't want to have themselves blown out at a brewery or a winery or a coffee shop. So this is plenty loud. I also love the fact that it's super portable. My old system, I had two separate speakers, uh, a sub, uh, a bunch of cables and uh, speaker stands as well as a, a separate uh, uh, amplifier uh, slash mixer uh, as a powered mixer and so it's just a lot more pieces to carry I, you know the two speakers you know added all up and one two three four five six different things to carry this one's pretty easy um, you know it comes apart pretty easy so and it's got a nice little travel bag so I can put all the pieces in this travel bag pull all the pieces apart they just come straight out and then to reassemble them you just put them right back in. And uh, they work really, it works really great. It's got a little handle right here for me to pick it up, to pick up the base unit. Um, so in general, uh, yeah, this is a win. Uh, the value for the money is phenomenal. And I think that uh, anybody who's looking for a system that doesn't want to spend $1,200 or $1,300 on a Bose system, the SoundCloud is actually uh, uh, really good. The only thing that I, I wish I had, I wish I had a second one. I'd love to try out and test the pairing. Uh, it's called TWS Bluetooth. Uh, my questions would be things like, you know, does it still sound good? Is it twice as loud? I'm guessing yes. Uh, does it get out of sync? Uh, and can I still play from my other Bluetooth devices if I'm using the Bluetooth to pair with uh, or sync with others? So that would be a question I have if I had if I had the second one. But uh, for like I said, for a brewery or winery, this works great just like it is. So again, it's a win. I'm gonna switch to this for all of my indoor gigs.